Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham, and welcome back to a brand new episode, folks. For those that do follow my series, I am on the brand new island server. And as you can see, I have already decided to on a place where I want to make my base. I've also brought over some of the creatures that I tamed on the Ragnarok map just to help me out. I mean, the server does have 10 times difficulty and, well, it's not going to be easy. So... I've decided I want to build my base next to the red obelisk uh, for the purpose that I want to try and fight the bosses at some point in the future. So if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and why not check out some of my other videos? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Okay, okay, so as you can see, I'm on the process of building my base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with these parallel lines quite low down there, quite further down there, uh, as much as I can, basically, because I want a giant base, and I'm going to get on a Valkyrie so I can show you guys what I mean. So what I've done is I've pretty much used the um, Castles, Keeps, and Forts foundations to do, like, parallel lines. I have also surrounded the area with gates, not that it cost me a lot, because everybody on the server is going to have an admin box, just like on the Ragnarok server. You know, there's no point in grinding stuff like this. There's so much more content to the game than just grinding. It's just grinding just takes away from all the fun, as as I found out. So as you can see, I've surrounded the area that I want to be mine. Now, obviously, I still have things spawning in my base, but that's all right. That's not a problem. And as you can see, everything's like in a parallel line. I might go down a bit lower. I'm not quite sure. I kind of want to get to the beach side of things. But I do need to start somewhere. I do need some sort of shelter for my creatures. I'm not very happy with leaving them out here. So the mods on the server are... Well, there are several new mods on the server. I think primarily the the main mod on the server is Pugnacia and um, the Dragon God mod. We also have the Castles, Keeps and Forts mod. S+. Plus. And there's quite a, a decent sized list. And as you can see, I've been around already. I've already killed a lot of uh, creatures. So as you can see, I've got some good stuff off of the kills that I have made. Um, now, I've been looking around and uh, kind of just trying to figure out where things were. And obviously, I decided to test fight some stuff because obviously settings are slightly different than the uh, Sethtopia server that was basically the Ragnarok map so I just wanted to see get a feel for the place and I did get a couple of things I mean I'm glad I brought Godzilla sorry I meant Zilla or Godzilla Ark with me and uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna come in handy if not I will give it to somebody else I mean one of the things I want to do in this season is I want to breed some Godzillas along with some other stuff. Now, as far as I know from the Pugnacia mod, there are also, um, like, world bosses and stuff. And I think you can get some sort of bosses and all that. So I might breed some of those things. There we go. That sorts that out. I want to get these guys out of the way. I mean, I'm glad that I am close to the um, red obelisk. Because that means I can move stuff from one server to the other fairly easily i don't have any tech here so i haven't transferred my character this is a brand new character and one thing i did notice is and i didn't actually weirdly enough i didn't touch the experience uh, settings on the server but i have killed quite a few things just as a test as i said before and i'm pretty much fully leveled up which is not necessarily a bad thing bearing in mind the insane levels on the server and the insane difficulty so I suppose uh, leveling up fast is not uh, a, you know some sort of uh, trade-off or doesn't make it too easy I mean <laughs> just about everything on the server can one-shot you and that's with like you know a couple hundred health so uh, let's have a look I'm gonna try and show you from here what I did so as you can see there's parallel lines going downwards now, the idea behind it is that the top of the base is going to be fairly straight. Um, I'm thinking maybe underneath the... So, like, the dino storage will be underneath the base, and then at the top maybe like a castle. Now, I know it looks a bit square, 
Well, that's the design I'm going for at the moment. But it ain't going to stay square. I'm going to do something to it. This is just to get me started and uh, create a safe location for my creatures to spend their time when I'm not around or when I'm logged off. Primarily. Okay. So there we go. That's kind of the the size I'm starting off with. I don't think I'm going to keep it that way though. I'm going to go for something bigger. There we go. Just do a Flintstone down Zilla's tail. Until I obviously run into a stone. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to go and get some of these foundations. Now, the idea behind the parallel lines is... I'm not using so many foundations, you know, I'm reducing the amount of foundations that I'm using to create a stable base for what is going to be the ceilings, which will be the flat uh, part of the base. And as I said before, it really depends on how steep things are and uh, how much height I will have. But in the long run, I kind of want to make a dino storage area underneath the base and on top of that I am going to have a castle and I would like a lot of movement area for when we start breeding all right so I have put up the ceiling as you can see I'm working on the dino storage area I'm trying to kind of figure out what I'm going to do in terms of design this isn't I mean, I haven't got a plan or anything, but as you can see, at the moment, it looks like there's a lot of storage space. I'm probably going to keep the breeding facility somewhere down here. I think that would be my idea. I'm just trying to make it look uh, fairly uniform. So, I think this is going to be a lot of trial and error and see what... In terms of uh, in terms of seeing what I like and don't like, so nope, that's not what I wanted to do down there, please. So kind of like that, and I'm gonna cover that with the ramps for easy access. I do like these uh, castle ramps, so they snap on really well. I kind of wish the vanilla stuff would do this. I I don't see why it doesn't do it though. Like, th this should be something, it makes building so much more versatile, and I kind of wish the vanilla stuff would do this as well. Um, going to go with norm, I don't think I can fit three, can I? No. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go with two, I'm going to close this one off, like so. Nope, no, 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 no. There we go. We don't mind a bit of earth uh, down here. Oh, we need ceilings down there. Let's cover that hole up. We'll cover this hole up. And do you know what? I'm expecting to bump into that uh, too many uh, par pieces in range bug at some point. Because I am going fairly, fairly big with this. Uh, like that. Okay, cool. So I'm going to have like a little crafting area somewhere down here. I haven't actually... I've got a generic idea of what I want to do down here. Um, and I'm just going to go with guessing. And I'll, we'll figure out what happens, what I'm going to do uh, as I do it, basically. But once I figured this bit out and uh, get it done, then we can start doing some designing. But once this is finished, I can then start... Well, I can then have a place to store my creatures. I'll take this with me. And as you can see, here we are. So, above us shall be the castle. Uh, now, I'm trying to figure out where my entrance will be. Um, I kind of want it around here. I know there's a bed around here. I haven't actually moved that bed. So, I'll do maybe that. Like that. Like that. And that. And maybe that. No. What? No clue where that snapped. And from here, we can do some steps. Maybe. Maybe like that. Yeah, okay, cool. That'll look okay. I have, I'm, I'm going to need some stairs. Uh, 
Okay, we've got these. Uh, I want those ones. And I'm going to need some sort of walls. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to go for at the moment. I would like something with windows. Maybe these. We'll try these out. We'll see if they... Those look... I might use something like that. Or, I don't know. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going for. I have a very generic idea, but... It has to look good as well. It has to look good and be functional. So we have to try and meet those those particular needs. So 10 maybe that should do okay. So let me place the steps here. All right. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Let's cover these up. No, that way. Like so. I'm going to cover this up. And that, and we'll do that. Do you know, this could be like a secret hiding place. We'll put that and that. And that down there. And I'll put some of these here. Okay, okay. This could be like a little hidey hole. Let's cover that up. I don't like that. Okay. Um, right, I'm going to go with normal walls on the outside just so it looks like... Well, I don't want it to be visible. So I'm going to use that um, camouflage door that looks like a wall as an entrance point. Um, so if I'm doing that, I will want normal walls. We'll do that. And that. Okay, cool. So I think I want my entrance to be here. Yeah, that looks okay. So what am I going to be placing down here? Um, that looks alright. We'll do that. we got a little window. We can have a look inside. Whoop. I'm going to go with that, open two of these up. I think that should suffice. We shouldn't get stuck on anything. So let's put the steps up. There we go. That's that. And therefore, I'll put this window here. And we're almost done. I just need to conceal that little entrance. Um... Hmm, okay, that looks good. I like it. I'll keep that. We've got that there as well, and there we go. So this is what it looks like on the top. As you can see, that and that is an entrance and exit for dinos, so we can fit fairly large dinos on that end. I just wanted two entrances into the basement section of the base. Or the dino storage area. So I'll put that there. And I need the wall. There. Okay, it's fairly easy to access. Uh, let's put the door frame. I'm going to do it from the inside, I think. It's probably easier to get it to snap. I just realized I don't need that wall there. Now. So, let's put that there, and door there. Voila! Ha ha ha! I don't know what I'm going to keep here. Maybe I can stash my treasures here. Do something with it. I don't know, we'll find out. We'll figure it out. I mean, I'm still learning about the Pugnacia mod. So... Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I think I'm going to build a little breeding area with uh, or where I intend to put lots of air cons and stuff down here so I think might be around here like so I think there's enough room to get dinos in and out all right so 
the base part of the base is actually done. So here's what it looks like. We've got a nice bridge going to that little tower on my right. I don't know what I'm going to do with that area. We've got a place for Godzilla to stay. I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Now, all the tech stuff that you see is not actually tech. It's Pugnacia stuff. So I didn't unlock any tech here yet. Just to let you know, just saying. For those that haven't played with the Pugnacia mod, I I have to say I do already like the Pugnacia mod. I like the range on the shield generator. That is amazing. It actually covers a massive base. We've got a cloning chamber there. Again, Pugnacia. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. There's plenty of space up here. I have built uh, the Godzilla Ark obelisk we've got some stuff down there storage areas the morgue benches so that's going to be where i'm going to do all my crafting um i'm going to build a castle where you see those walls i've just kind of outlined or created an outline for what i'm going to go for in terms of size it might change i don't think it will though i mean that should be more than sufficient and as you can see it's not a square box anymore which is actually what i was aiming for for when I was building this. But that does mean I have used up a lot more pieces. So yeah. Bumping into the too many too many pieces in range problem is looking like a actual possibility. Um so let's go down here. We've got some vault. We've got Torches, those are the S plus torches. I do have a That thing I haven't used it yet. Don't know what it does a vault here a diamond vault here and a generator that I cannot access It's a tech generator, so I haven't unlocked any tech anagrams We've got our little breeding facility. So this is where we will be hatching the eggs. We've got the um, S plus generator and I love this thing because it's not noisy We've got S plus uh, refrigerators. Again, not noisy. We've got this thing that's supposed to remove fog. I'm, I'm guessing. Do I activate this? What do I do with it? I mean, it looks pretty. It's got a dodo on it, but... Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to use this device because it's the first time I've seen it. No, I don't want to demolish. No, I don't want to pick it up. No clue how to use this thing. Do I put something in it? We got a little teleporter that somebody's left me. So I might as well put that down there as well. Um, That is a wyvern for Hypnotica who will be joining the server at some point. Um, Nice large space to store creatures. And you can see... It's going to be a while before I actually run out of space. And I think I will put a lot of storage area up top as well. So I definitely plan on being around. And as you can see, we've got one entrance there. We've got the little glacial giga, which I kind of found and tamed. It wasn't that difficult. Okay, so I'm out and about flying and all that good stuff. And I come across this weird looking grave thing. I get close to it and this thing pops out and obviously I want to tame it so I've knocked it out and I have no clue what this thing eats. I mean it's a fairly high level. Bear in mind though I don't know what a good level is on these current settings. But it should do so I don't know what this thing eats. So I'm going to open up the manual, have a quick read of it and see... What sort of kibble I need to feed it. So let's have a look uh, here. Uh, wow, where do I find this thing? Um, right, well, I'll see you folks in a bit once I figure it out. And I'm back. Okay, <laughs> I realized when I opened up the manual that I should have probably done that before because I didn't have a clue where to find the... Hell horse, or whatever this thing is called. Uh, yeah, hell horse. Uh, so, apparently it likes these kibbles. 
The most jobs kibble. Got plenty of that out of the vending machine. But I should have probably had a look at the manual before I actually decided to time something. That was the first time I opened it, so I didn't know where to find stuff. But it looks cool. It looks freaking amazing. Wow, I like the the the, the attention to detail is amazing. Oh, he's up. He's up. Yes, little horsey. Okay, we want to pick you up. Uh, it's not very safe on the ground, buddy. But I want to ride you a bit. All right. I can deal with that. We got the kick. Oh, nice bite. I think he gets a nosebleed when uh, when he tries and bites. That is very interesting. I love it. I, mean, I don't know if this is a good enough level, but you know what? It will do for my needs. Now, let's take you back to base. And why can't I mount? Right. E. Come on. Please. Let me on my horse. Uh, sorry, let me on my... On my wyvern. Uh, Elder Valkyrie even, please. Right, there we go. What is going on? I can't get on it. Um. Okay, hold on a second. This isn't right. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe from here? I'm getting the little prompt, but I can't get on it. I can see its inventory, apparently. Which is not what I want to do. Um. Please let me on. Okay, alright, let's try and put this thing down. Nope. Okay, maybe. Like so, no. I want to put the horse down. Oh, that's where I was getting the prompts. I was getting the prompts from the horse. Um. Okay. This is a. We have a bit of a problem here. I can't get the thing off my <laughs> off my shoulder. That means I can't mount my thing, my my elder Valkyrie, and I can't ride my horse. That sucks. All right. So I have. <laughs> Relogged onto the game that has fixed the problem as I thought it would. So, note to self do not pick up the horse. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to run all the way back to base, which kind of will give me a, a bit of a feel for the horse. Hopefully, we don't get into any major trouble. I mean, it's powerful, but I think there's a lot of other stuff that are far more powerful than the horse. And come on, jump, 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 jump. Whoa. That was a bit of a jump. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, there are many, many, many other creatures that are far more powerful than this horse. Well, I jumped over a giant beaver. Uh, beaver, um, otter. That was an otter. I don't know why I called it a beaver. Yeah. Anyways, as you can see, we've got terror birds. I've seen some variants of terror birds. I think they're primal terror birds or something. It's always fun to watch those things until they attack you. Um, we got Titanosaur there. So, I mean, luckily, this thing is pretty fast. And it doesn't seem to run out of stamina that quick. Which is a good thing. It is absolutely good. Because that means I can keep on running. Um, the stuff behind me that I don't like. That sounded like another god. Or some sort of god. Uh, oh, this is the portion I hate. Um, oh, this is going to be a bit of a booby trap in terms of how I navigate this. Because there's always loads of bad stuff in here. In the swamp area. Leeches included. There are so many leeches. Oh, gators. I hate gators. Okay. You know, this thing is pretty fast. I think if you pump up uh, a bit more speed onto... Oh, hello, Trike. Into its stats, you should be alright. And uh, the fact that it can carry me and the Valkyrie, and the Valkyrie's got quite a few things on it, that's actually good. That tells me it's got good carry weight. There we go. I think this must have been one of uh, Mike's taming pens that he's tamed something in. That's pretty big. Uh, okay. There we go. Difficult to see the red obelisk with all these trees in the way. 
but I think I am in the right general direction. Yes, I am. I'm um, going this way. More water. Leeches underneath us. But it's alright, because you can jump. Ooh, 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 come on. Come on, don't get stuck. Stupid tree. Check this out, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, did not expect to see that. Do you see that? Zombie Diplodocus. Now, I thought that thing was initially bloody, but then I saw its eyes glow. And I'm like, hold on a bit. This is not something not right with this thing. I kind of want me one of these things now. Just because it's a zombie. Oh, 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 game freeze. Ah, that shouldn't be opening automatically. But, you know what, whatever. Can I fit down this way? No, I cannot. Oh, that sucks. Well, we'll try the other side. Go through this wonderful bridge that I made. Whoops. I'm gonna go in this way. Well, kinda like so. Um, where am I gonna put you? I can store big stuff down there, so I'm not going to clutter it with little things. Maybe here. Like so. Aha. Now let's have a proper look at you. Wow, this thing looks freaking amazing. I like the skull and like the sharp teeth and everything. That looks super duper cool. And I like the whole ribcage sticking out. Well, I am going to cut the episode here, folks. Uh, not a bad first tame of Hell Horse. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but yeah. That is it for this episode, folks. More, far more interesting stuff will be coming in the future. So if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to let me know by smashing that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And why not check out some of my other videos? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Until next time, stay safe, folks.